Wello, hope you enjoyed that. That was my approximation of Jitterbug Boy by Tom Waits. It's um, so a 1976, well, it came off the 1976 album, Small Change. Um, I was quite, l quite late in my life before I first heard Tom Waits, um, maybe like mid-twenties or something. And uh, I think someone recommended him or his music to me um, because they knew that I was kind of listening to kind of Captain Beefheart and Zapper and some of more of that kind of avant-garde 60s, 70s stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I was quite surprised when I first heard his Tom's voice. Um, it's very gravelly, very husky, it's kind of whiskey voice. Um, and I suppose it, it's, you know, you can see the, 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 the comparisons to Captain Beefheart in the sense of his expression is just very raw. Um, and he's just got this incredible tone to his voice. But, but also Tom is this amazing pianist. Um, he creates these really lovely uh, kind of like piano backing songs that, or tunes that he sings over. Um, quite complex in their arrangement and quite complex harmonically. Um, but yeah, I don't know that much of his stuff. I've only listened to a couple of his albums, to be honest. Uh, but what I've heard I do really like. It's not really exactly my thing. I think he would be amazing to see live. Um, I should imagine if you saw one of his performances decades ago, um, you know, him sit with, sitting with a piano, it would have been absolutely incredible. And imagine that he's got lots of anecdotes that he, he weaves in, in between the songs, he talks about his life. And certainly uh, a lot of the lyrical content is about, it seems to be either Tom's life, his, his childhood or his life, uh, or it's just kind of fictional characters. I think certainly in this song, Jitterbug Boy, you know, it's all about this, this kind of character who's kind of boasting about all of these achievements that he, and things that he's done in, in his life. Whether it's actually true or not, probably not. But yeah, I always really like this song, Jitterbug Boy, uh, in particular. I, I like the, the kind of chords, I like the, it's quite a simple chord structure, which I'll go through in a second. Um, but I just really like the, the vocals, it's just the melody and, and the way he, he really feels that he's talking just to you as a listener. It's really intimate and that's quite rare. I think, you know, when you listen to music and, and you feel like you've got this kind of one-to-one -one relationship, like you're, 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 they're standing right in front of you and singing you this song. That's kind of what it feels like with, with, with Tom Waits. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get uh, looking at the chords or at least the, the piano accompaniment and I'll, I'll talk you through it. Right, this song is in E flat major. There's really only four chords, there's like E flat major, uh, A flat six, um, B seven, B flat seven. So, you know, that just shows great songwriting. He's, he's used very, uh, Tom Waits has used very few components, very few ingredients, but you know, he's still managed to create a very lush arrangement, a very interesting arrangement with a great melody that moves over um, these chords. So really impressive. But yeah, to start off with it, with the intro. Um, he's just playing simple, um, rather than the full E flat chord, he's just playing the, the G and the B flat. So it's the third and the fifth. Um, where you've got the E there. So it's like, a, it's like an E flat first inversion. And then it goes down to what looks like an F minor. So you've got F and A flat in the left hand. But it's not really an F minor, it's a, it's, it's that chord, it's, a, it's an A flat six. Um, so really on your left hand, all you're doing is just rocking between uh, G and B flat, F and A flat while you're picking up the melody in your right hand. So it goes. And then you eventually land on this, so you're playing the full E flat chord with the E flat in the bass. And those chords are really great. They're really interesting, really pricks your ear, but it's, um, B7, so you've got B, F flat, uh, sorry, uh, F sharp, A, and then the melody line is, uh, is an E flat. And then to a B flat, F, A flat, and then that, that E flat, now it's sounding like a, a suspended fourth. 
and then resolves down to the third, you can hear that D. There's the third. Back to the E flat. And uh, you know, throughout the piece, I'm kind of adding in, adding in some extra notes just where I can from from the chord, from from, from the scale, I should say, just 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 to fill out the fill out the chords a bit. So that's it. Yeah, E flat, A flat six. Uh, B7, B flat 7, or B flat 7 suspended 4th, whatever you want to call it, sus4. So Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.